I wanted to, to spend some time telling you about actually how we came to be together, how I knew that Jessica was the one for me. Um, I don't think that it was a, a lightning bolt moment or something that happened straight away, but rather it was a, a series of incidences that kind of pushed me in the right direction and brought me to this moment which, you know, even after seven years, I, I probably should have done it six and a half years ago. <laughs> I guess though that I also started to come to realise that this is the girl that I fell in love with. Um, this is the girl that I was willing to do anything for. This is the girl that I was going to protect and to hold, to love and to adore. But also that I was also going to compromise and change for. Um, I even like watching Mamma Mia now. <laughs> I don't know, I think Jess has an infatuation with Pierce Brosnan and I'm starting to get one soon. <laughs> yeah, and I've watched it for a thousand times. I mean, it's pretty hot. And you're like, He's amazing. <laughs> um, but most importantly, it's for her kindness, her smile, her tenderness and com compassion, and of course her laugh, which is everything that I love. Um, I just ask you one more time to raise your glass. Um, and share with me a toast to my darling wife. Oh. Oh. Just oh. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, as a symbol of my love. And I promise to care for you, and I promise to care for you with love and friendship, with love and friendship. To support and comfort you, to support and comfort you through good times, through good times and through troubled times and through troubled times I promise to respect and cherish you I promise to respect and cherish you and to be faithful always and to be faithful always these promises I make to you these promises I make to you for the rest of my life for the rest of my life for the rest of my life so it gives me great pleasure to declare you are now husband and wife <laughs> only lived about 30 kilometres from the school. But it didn't take me long to work out that self-preservation was probably high on Mr and Mrs Kelly's possible motives for putting him into boarding school. I was staring, staring at Andrew's rear end. <laughs> and somewhat dehydrated stag.
Strength, skill, a perfect woman. Times together, whether it was uh, making snow angels in the snow in the back of Tuscany one Christmas. That's like the naughty side, they're all talking. <laughs> I'm not free. 